Mustang Nation. Miss Tammy here with this edition of Weekly Wellness. This week we're talking about balance. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, actually we're not talking about that kind of balance. Give me a second to get myself together. All right, I'm back in a little better shape than I was before. The sort of balance that I'm talking about is really having balance in our lives. So it's balancing the things we need to do and the things that we want to do. And I don't know about you all, but during this time of being away from school, I've just felt uncertain about like what to do when and I'm doing too much of some things and then I'm not doing enough of other things. So I really spent some time and sat down and thought about, okay, what are things I need to get done for my job and to stay healthy, to be the best me I can be and then making sure I'm making time for having fun as well. So if you write those things out, if you click below, you'll see an example of what some of those things might be. I hope you're thinking about sleeping well and making sure that you're eating well and getting yourself outside or exercise or something physical every day is part of keeping our bodies healthy, which really helps keep me in balance. And when one of those things sort of goes off for me, I can really tell a difference. And then the other piece is to make sure that I'm connecting with people because now that we're so isolated, I sometimes find that I'm missing people and I have to just find new ways to connect. Sometimes that's family or you guys might be connecting with your guardians or connecting with friends via social media. But it's making sure that I balance doing those things that are healthy for me with reaching out to people with also the time I spend with our online school that we're doing now. So I want to make sure that you have all of those things in balance in your life because it helps us be the best people we could be. So that's all I have for today. Wait a second. I'm forgetting the most important, brilliant, wonderful person I know. Ms. Chambers, what was I thinking? Take it away. Thanks, Miss Tammy, for handing it off to me. Isn't she the best? You might notice that I have a peacock feather in my hair. It's because I'm going to talk to you about balance. This peacock feather can balance really easily on my finger or it might be really difficult. What that depends on is my focus. So if I sit here and talk to you and don't concentrate on it, I can't keep it balanced. However, if I'm quiet and I focus, I can balance it quite a bit longer. My peacock feather is broken, unfortunately, so it is a little bit harder to balance. When we have focus, if it's narrow, things become very difficult for us. We can't see the whole picture. We can't think clearly. However, when we focus and expand our vision, when we keep our eye on the prize, things become easier for us to balance. Think of an Olympic athlete. They not only need to focus, but they also need to have balance. When they're in training, they have to balance their nutrition, their exercise, and their sleep. Um, they need to maintain their routines in order to keep their balance. Part of their balance also is having a positive mindset and a good attitude. A good attitude and positive mindset can make the difference between an athlete in the Olympics winning or losing. What event are we in? We are in the Olympic event of Thriving at Sea. That's where we are, Mustang Nation. And as we thrive at sea, I want you to think about how you can create more balance in your life and a clearer focus. Here are some tips. One, know yourself. Figure out what your routine should be for sleeping, for eating, and for exercising. Don't forget to go outside. We're starting to have the sun again. Also, Keep your mind in shape. Try to stay alert. Spending a lot of time on the computer can really fog my brain. I don't know about you. And so I have to remember to take a walk outside just to go outside in the sun for a few minutes or um, do something different and take a break from all of the FaceTime on computers. You can also journal. You can practice gratitude. You could make a gratitude list or poster. 
be kind, stay on top of your academics. Those are ways that you can keep your mind in shape. Also, staying connected with your friends and family is especially important during this time. Making sure that you're staying in contact with the people that love you and that you love. Doing something spontaneous. Again, we can lose routine or really be rigid in our routine and we need to find the balance in between. So do things like creating a sidewalk chalk obstacle course for yourself or your or your siblings to do together or your family. Play games with your family. Read a book that you haven't read before. Um, go for a hike. Do something spontaneous. Help your parents with chores. Also, don't forget you need to take care of yourself. Remember taking care of yourself is so important. Getting enough sleep, eating right, relaxing with a music music or a book or both, showering, brushing your teeth, just really thinking about taking good care of yourself. Also, always choosing kindness is so important. And now I am going to give you the man with the greatest mustache, the man that you know and love, Mr. Schrader. Take it away. Thanks, Ms. Chambers. Mustang Nation, balance is such an important topic and it's such an important thing to try to obtain in your life, um, not just as a student, but as an adult in the workplace with family. Uh, you're always trying to find some sort of balance and it's a, it sometimes can be a hard thing to do, um, especially when you feel under pressure to meet certain deadlines or to get things done and you feel that, that intense pressure that I have to put all my focus into this um, as well as sometimes maybe on the other side of things, maybe you chill out a little too much. Uh, maybe you kind of border on the uh, even pushing lazy side of sitting on the couch and just taking things too easy. So one extreme or the other is not healthy for you. Uh, so it's so important to find that right balance for you that helps you be productive as well as having some of that downtime to take care of you. Uh, Quick example of uh, the best example I can think of in my life uh, was I was working at a high school down in Hamilton and it was my first year there and I had to do the whole master schedule for the whole high school and never done it before to that to on my own um, and it was over during the summertime and I was struggling and I was hitting the wall with things and things weren't working correctly and I was feeling under pressure because we're pushing into August and getting close to school starting and needed to have this schedule done but I just couldn't things just weren't working out and, and I was near tears a lot of times just really highly frustrated and stressed knowing that my time was was dwindling down um, and my principal at the time he knew, well, one, he knew that my anniversary was coming up and that my family was going camping, and I wasn't going to go with them. I was going to miss all that to stay working on the schedule because I was really worried about it and getting it done. And he told me, walk away, go do that. Go camping with your family, take a couple days, and then come back. This will still be here when you get back. It'll, we'll have time. It'll be okay. So I did. I stepped away. Uh, which was tough to do, but I stepped away, went camping with my family. And I can tell you what, just having that, that, that step away and come back to was the best thing I could have done. And I so appreciate that principle for, for really pushing me to do that. Uh, Cause had I stayed, I, I don't think, I think I just would have continued to bang my head against the wall and, and just increase that frustration level. But by having that balance of, I worked hard, but then I also then stepped away, kind of refreshed my mind. And when I was able to come back and look at it, it was kind of from a fresh perspective and was able to progress and things fell into place and things worked out. Um, so it's so important to have that balance in your life. Um, now, obviously, if I just went camping all the time and I, then I wouldn't get my job done and the schedule wouldn't have happened. Or like I said, if I just kept pushing and beating my head against the wall, I just would have increased my frustration uh, to an unhealthy level. So it was that proper balance that I needed in the moment. So find your balance uh, through this time. Find your balance of when is that frustration level with you and when you, when you need to take a step back and do something for you, but also realize that there's a limit there too and when you need to get back to work and continue that productivity. So I encourage you guys, find your balance. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.